<laughs> but um, I was just happy to get it out the way. I just, it's just, I mean, it's a surreal moment for me because I've been through so much. So I'm just happy to be able to play basketball again and do what I love to do, and that's going out there and compete and win. And I'm happy we got a win, too, going into All-Star break. Uh, talk about how many minutes you were going to play or when you were going to come in or was it fluid? No, they didn't. I mean, I talked to Mike. I'm on a minutes restriction for a while, but I didn't even expect to play that much. I mean, they put me in there and I was just, I do what I can control. When when my name is called, I'm going to always be ready. So, And then when I get in the game, I'm going to make it hard for Coach to take me out. So um, I'm just happy to be able to be out there and playing again. It, it felt really good. You helped spark the comeback in the third. What would you guys do in that third to get back in this game? Um, we got stops. We got stops and got our run. To end the third quarter, I think that was big for us. Um, they were playing pretty well the whole game, but we got a few stops. We scored a few times and got some energy going, and the crowd got going, so that was good for us. The way the building erupted when you hit that three to give them the lead, was that like a nice warm welcome from the Denver Nuggets fans? That was big. I mean, even when I first came in the game, I didn't expect a standing ovation like that. So I can't thank, I mean, my fans first and foremost, but the fans of the Denver Nuggets is, I mean, this organization is amazing. This um, fan base is amazing, and I'm glad to put on the Nuggets uniform. Is it physically, how did you feel? I felt good. I, Give me a shout-out, baby. Thank you. You already know. I got you. <laughs> uh, um, I felt really good. Like I felt ten times better than I did my first game last season. So I had no pain. I could move. I wasn't as tired as I thought I would be. And it was just everything was right tonight, and we got the win, so that was big. Monte was just over there talking about how much you've helped in this year. I mean, the bench looked really hyped when you're, you're making those shots. Yeah. Is it fun to play in a team where, where everybody is happy for each other's success? Yeah, I've been on a few teams like that. So that's half the battle when guys is happy for someone else because in this league there's so many egos and a lot of guys are selfish. But on this team, everybody just wants to win and get further. And when you win individually, things come your way. So we're, um, this team is good at that. You want to play, man, and now there's a break. What are you doing during the break? I'm going to be working. I got to get my rhythm back. I got to get my powers back. Um, so I'm going to just be in the gym. I mean, I'm going to go on vacation with my family, but I already found a gym where I'm going. So I'll be in the gym working and getting getting right. You mentioned how excited you were just, just to get back to playing again, but the fact that you were coming back and getting, getting to do it for a team that has all this kind of ahead of it, how much more exciting has that made it or – you know, with what this team has. I mean, it's fun because the goal, not the ultimate goal, but the goal is to get to the playoffs. We haven't done anything yet until we clinch the playoffs, and that's what I came here to do. I want to make it to the playoffs, and I want to show these guys how to win in the playoffs and show them that it's an environment you always want to be a part of once you get there. So, And I think we have a talented group that's not just able to get there but make some noise while we get there. So each and every day our, our job is just to continue to get better and, and have fun at it and put it all out there on the floor. Uh, how much did you miss just the day-to-day routine of going through an NBA game day, the shoot-around, the media, I'm, all of it? I mean, everything. Like, I had to remember exactly what I used to do because it's been so long. But just being here three hours before me and the first guy on the floor, like I've been since I got in the NBA, it just, like, I had a big smile on my face all day. I, didn't, I couldn't sleep last night. My kids are happy. I'm back to being an NBA player, like they say. So they always call me a cheerleader because I've been out for so long. So I'm just so happy. I'm blessed to be in this situation and have this opportunity, and I do not take it from granted. Were you lobbying to get back in the game at the end of regulation to take the last shot? Sure. <laughs> I almost cut somebody out because I didn't get in. But, nah, I mean, I just know what I'm capable of in those situations. But I trust in this coaching staff, and I'm – like I said, I'm here to help. I'm not here to step on anybody's toes. You've been through all these playoffs. You know, when you guys get back, there's 25 games. How crucial is it to, for those 25 games for this team to round out to get into that playoff position that you guys are on? Oh, it's very crucial, especially in the Western Conference. Like, it's it's big. we got to lock in each and every game and take every game serious because you lose three or four in a row, you can drop. And you might not make the playoffs because that's how close it is in the Western Conference. So we just got to be dialed in each and every game and, and know what we're fighting for. And we got to just keep going and keep working. Last question for me, IT. Why, why now? Why did it take this long? When did you know that it was going to take this long to get back on the court? I mean, honestly, I didn't. But I had to listen to my body. I had to be patient because last year I felt like I rushed it. And I could have took a little longer to come back. And this year it was just... I'm doing what's best for myself at the end of the day, and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my career. And I got so many guys in my ear just telling me just 
be patient. Listen to your body. And when it's time to go, it's going to be time to go. And now it's time to get going and and and, and don't look behind. Uh, you and Monte found a really good rhythm with each other, had a good two-man game going. Did you feel that? And then what is it about his game that, that, that you were just reading so well? I mean, I could play with anybody. Like I'm not a guy that just always needs the ball. Even when my whole career in the NBA, I've played off the ball a lot of it. So... Whenever he brings it up, I know the space of floor, and he does the same. He's a basketball player like myself, and he's very smart. So we're just going to continue to build that cohesiveness and, and continue to get better.